You make them think you're far when you are close. You make them think you're many, but you are only few. You make them think you're weak, but you are actually strong. That's basically deception. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new vlog. My name is Clyde, otherwise known as Jackus Edit. It's the, it's the 13th of January now, 2020. I hope you lot have a, had a happy new year. And so today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about being a good storyteller. Now, before I continue, I want to give you three quick disclaimers like always. One, do not take what I say seriously. I'm just an entertainer. Two, follow the rules of the land that you live in. Be a good citizen. And three, be an adult as you watch me, or at least have the adult mindset. If you can do that, then I can continue. So one of the things that you're going to come across uh, whenever you're in dialogue with another person, perhaps you're a guy and you're talking to a girl that you really like and you want her to be interested in you, rather than trying to be interesting, be interested in her. If there's a book that I've learned this uh, conversation skill from, it's a book called How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. Here I have it up right now. I read this book in 2018 and it's definitely timeless. You, you could still read that book in 2020 and it'll still work to that date. Maybe even a hundred years from now. <laughs> so rather than trying to be interesting, telling her about all the things you've done and shit, your accomplishments, be interested in them instead. Ask questions about them and listen. And then when you when you uh, speak in terms of what they said, when you're expanding on a subject that they've spoken about, about them, then, then they will be interested in you. They'll ask questions about you. So rather than me, how's your day? You know, that kind of question. And that's exactly what I'm gonna be talking to you about in this video, how to be a good storyteller. I've spoken about this in a past, in, my, in an older video last year, you could uh, listen and learn from that if you want after this video. But how to be a good storyteller. Um, it's essential that you know how to convey a good story whenever you're in dialogue with another person because this is what's going to keep them interested in you. So for example, rather than them, rather than you saying my day was good and leaving it as just that, that's very boring. They're not going to remember the anything you said about whenever they're talking to you, all right? Like if you want to leave them with a positive memory and uh, th leave them thinking about you, you gotta have a good story to tell to them. So instead of saying my day is good, you could say, so Clyde, how's your day? My day was fucking intense. Whoa, immediately they're gonna turn their body towards you and be like, whoa, why is it intense? because you said it in that voice tonality. Um, you put emphasis in what you just said. My day was fucking intense because the moment I walked out of that house and towards town, I saw that there was a guy at the corner of the street. He looked very suspicious. Why? All of a sudden they're questioning, asking you why. They're intrigued. He wore a hoodie where you couldn't see his face. He had his hands in his pockets which he could have had a weapon in there, perhaps a knife, and I had to walk past him in order to go to town. My heart rate, my heartbeat was racing at this point, and I was literally nerve, nervous walking, about to walk past him. But you know something, something out of the extraordinary happened. What happened? The moment I was walking near him, he said something that completely put me in surprise. He said, what's up dude? With a really high pitched voice, it completely put me in surprise because I did not expect him to have such a high pitched voice. In fact, I thought he was going to have a deep voice and he was about to say something really nasty to me, but nope, he was a, just a friendly guy. But um, I, I wasn't deceived by that. Maybe this could have been a deception, a form of putting you off guard. 
making you believe he's, he's friendly, but he's really not. You know, that's what deception is. What's deception? Deception is when you make someone believe something that's not true. That's basically deception. Like, for example, you make them think you're far when you are close. You make them think you're many, but you are only few. You make them think you're weak, but you are actually strong. That's basically deception. And I wasn't going to fall for this bullshit. He looked, he sounded friendly based on his voice, but he looked like uh, he could kill someone right now. Me. <laughs> but surprisingly, as I walked past him, nothing happened. I walked past him like no danger was close by. He wasn't following me or anything. Boom. That's how you could tell a, uh, convey a good story. You put the audience, the people who's listening at the edge by building tension, having a build up. Uh, maybe that moment I was walking past him, I was gonna about to walk past him, my heart was racing and I was nervous, you know, that moment, that's tension right there. And you know what he said? Rhetorical question, you're addressing the audience. Okay, you keep them um, with you. You're, you're, all you're doing is you're taking them into a journey, you're taking them into your world noticed how they completely forgot that they were in a room at that moment when you were telling the story. They completely forgot where they were at that moment and instead they were literally in your world as you spoke about your story. That's basically the goal in this. If you want to create something memorable and keep the person you're talking to in dialogue with interested, you have to take them into your world because it's only when you're, you haven't taken them into the, your world and they are very well aware that they've, they're in that room right now with you, sitting down in that room, that's when they're not going to remember the things you're saying. I remember I was in a house party and I was telling a girl a story. She was sitting in a couch next to me along with her friend. I was telling a story about the time where... Um, you know, you know about a friend where we watched a, a movie in a cinema and there was these guys and I told her about that story. You can watch it in my, I'll put it in a card over here, you'll know more about it. I was telling that story and she was so captivated by that until someone walked into that room and, you know, started uh, speaking and, uh, you know, she, it, could, it, put, it put her off guard and she really wanted to go back into this story. I remember she was saying, I was really into this story keep talking she was like that so obviously if you can tell a good story you can keep the people who's listening at edge and they will be really interested in the things you're saying at this point they will remember you more rather than having a simple conversation saying hey how's your day my day is good the end full stop <laughs> but that's basically it for this short video I'll keep this simple I'll try to upload more vlogs like this in the future, maybe once a week. I'll try to do that more often because I'll try to grow this channel as well. Take this a little bit more seriously. <laughs> but if you learned something of value, leave a like, share this with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. I will be doing more if you want to hear more about this. Maybe it'll help you out, it'll help a friend out. And if you're that friend who's watching me now, and I applause you because you have a good friend who just shared this video out to you. You probably, you and that friend of yours learned something of value, right? Give yourself a pat on the back. I'll see you in my next vlog. As Raj Dibazar said, my teacher of life right there, up on my canvas, be the best and fuck the rest. My name is Clyde and I represent Jacko's Edit. See you soon. <laughs>